When I tell you it's easy, I promise you it is easy. When you see this, you're gonna wonder why you haven't already been doing it. Couple of clicks and you're done. First thing you wanna do is go to your effects. Make sure that you are in open effects. Start to type in 3D gear. What you want is your 3D gear. You're gonna drag it and drop it onto the clip that has the green screen. Because once you remove the green screen, what is underneath that clip will become your new background. Make sure now that you go to your timeline viewer here, go to the bottom, click on the drop down arrow, open effects. You come over to effects over here in the inspector. First one's called pick, that's fine, leave it right on that. And you're just gonna click and drag your mouse to draw a line around your subject. What is going black is what is being removed. And that's actually what we want. We see parts of the subject getting removed. We probably can clean that up later, so we're gonna keep that as a pretty decent key. So technically you're done, you're good to go. <laughs> what I'm gonna do though is show you how to clean up this key even more. So you see we've got like this green around the edges. Um, what you wanna do is come back over to your effects, open effects, uh, under, under 3D keyer, under behavior options, you have despill. I'm gonna drag it to the right, I'm just go all the way on it. And you see that it removed the green out. So it's a little bit gray, but it does help to take out the green. Now there's other things you can do, like you can kind of see on the, some like aberrations here, and some like uh, digital type of distortions here. Under matte finesse, if you go to number two, there's one called denoise. You can slide that over and it kind of just like feathers that out. Pre-filter can go in and do some things. You see what it's doing. Make sure you're watching what it's doing to the subject. Around my dad's head here, you can kind of see that it's kind of like taking some of the skin out. And then also, something to watch out for is our uh, glasses because the green screen came through the glasses a little bit. So it is kind of like distorting some. So, you know, it's gotta be mindful of those kind of things. For something quick, you just need to throw a new background on. It works out well. Uh, I'm gonna just grab a blur, a Gaussian blur. You can grab whatever blur you want. But that's one of those things you can do to help to make the make it look a little bit more realistic. Now let's switch over to an example of what this program can do with a green screen that's not well lit. So let me just show you, same thing. Effects, 3D keyer, drag and drop. I still have open effects selected, so we're good there. Come over here, same thing, drag it. See how you even got those bins in there? That's like stuff you don't want. So like, all right, that first, first go was not good. So let me reset it and do it again. But it does pretty well, even considering it was not the best uh, lighting job. Also consider when you're lighting you know, your green screen, remember that you don't need to use the entire screen you can crop around your subject because all I need is myself. I don't need the rest of the background. And I'm just gonna come over until it lines up perfectly. And I'm even gonna cut into the mic a little bit because again, I'm gonna shrink this video so much, it doesn't really matter. Despill is the main thing that I use when I am using this tool. It pulls out the green out of my hair color. You can see that it might even still look like a little fuzzy and around the edges. So again, come back to Matt Finesse, go over, I'm gonna go do a little bit of denoise, that a lot, just a little bit, cause you don't wanna, cause I don't have as much room to play because now the edges are coming back. So actually I'm not gonna mess with denoise. That's because I didn't like the green screen that well. So like I said, you wanna make sure you do it well when you really need a lot of attention to detail in what you're keying out. And I'm gonna move over to the bottom here, resize literally just in the bottom of the screen. This is definitely an easy way to do it, especially if you don't wanna mess around with the Fusion page right now. Get in and out, do a really quick 3D keyer. So if you found this video helpful, please let me know in the comments below. Leave a like, and if you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. Until next time, peace.